Today we're going to be going over uh, some of the pearls for thoracic hypoplasty, um, but also go over uh, some of the uh, technology for a tumor ablation. Uh, I know that tumor ablation can be helpful to uh, some of these patients with metastatic uh, spread to the spine, and looking at when um, radiation is uh, not is not taking care of the pain. Uh, the problem with that is that uh, after the radiation, and we're trying to get at these uh, tumors that, and lytic lesions inside the vertebral bodies and getting after them, uh, the, the uh, radiation has uh, hardened the bone, uh, making it difficult to uh, get into the area. Uh, but more and more so for maybe some more isolated uh, lytic lesions or metastases, uh, tumor ablation may be of uh, a lot of help to our patients. Uh, but also, in conjunction with uh, kyphoplasty, can be quite helpful to uh, contain uh, cement, which uh, provides some uh, support and uh, scaffolding to the patella body. So we'll be going over uh, some of the pearls for thoracic spine. Uh, as we know, above the T10 level, we see a significant sagittal angulation uh, occurring. Yeah, significant angulation of the, of, of the uh, pedicles as you come up above T10 significantly. And that does affect uh, uh, our imaging and uh, a plan for the procedures that we're looking at doing. Uh, so in particular, uh, in severe fractures uh, within the thoracic spine, we have a significant amount of wedging. And uh, with that, we may have to really uh, start our kyphoplasty procedures uh, significantly higher. The, as you know, also the pedicles are significantly higher on the vertebral body in the thoracic spine, and also the pedicles are shorter. So it makes it more difficult, smaller area to work with in particular as well, as well as the imaging may not be as clear as we see in the, in the lumbar spine as well, okay? So, uh, today we're looking at the uh, uh, trans particular approach uh, on our fluoroscopy. Uh, if you want to pan to the next, I mean, just the other picture. Other picture, the. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Uh, just the, um, that picture on the right. Can we show that one? Yeah. X ray, thanks. You guys see that there? So yeah, we're looking at the uh, x-ray view. That's more of an on-foss type of approach as you're coming down, coming down the, uh, the eye of the pedicle. Uh, we started uh, significantly higher on the pedicle, um, coming into the uh, pedicle, also making sure that we're not transgressing the medial line of the pedicle there. Uh, more of an on-foss view, which I like to, I like to use on, on, these, on our patients. Uh, it's gonna get, good eye and target for where you need to go. Uh, and on our uh, other view, on the fluoroscopy, we're looking at a more of a AP view, trans approach as well though, but a more of an AP view where you can start at the corner, uh, superior corner of the uh, vertebral body and work your way in towards the, uh, aiming towards the opposite corner uh, and looking at uh, slowly bringing that needle in within the pedicle, okay? And we're talking about a tumor ablation. Uh, uh, RF energy can be quite helpful to our patients and, and to number of lytic lesions. Um, uh, we know a lot of our bony metastases, uh, uh, you know, one of the primary areas being the, the uh, vertebral body and spine in particular, uh, tumor ablation can help a number of our patients. Uh, the can provide a very controlled amount of heat uh, with tissue cells uh, dying at 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. Uh, we have RF energy uh, in these probes going up to 95 degrees Celsius with a distal tip uh, providing uh, 70 degrees Celsius in a lipdoid type of lesion. If we want to pan over to our 
our demonstration of the uh, probes that are placed within a model there, we have a chicken, uh, uh, chicken uh, tissue. We have uh, two probes there. Uh, this is with the Medtronic Cool Leaf um, system, where we have a bipolar, uh, bipolar uh, probe placed on each side and are approximately, uh, what size probe is that? 20 millimeters. 20 millimeters. Uh, we have a bipolar probe, which does provide a positive negative to the area, uh, quite a good size uh, elliptoid type of uh, lesion on either side, as you, as you see, is developing and uh, providing uh, uh, tissue cell death uh, to the area, and we're targeting a particular lesion in the peel body. And we'll come back to that a little bit later and see how that is transpiring. So we move forward with our uh, uh, delivery of our needles, and getting into the preparing for our balloons, and first of all, the uh, ablation. Going back to the AP view. And see, we're coming closer to the medial line of the pedicle there. Picture there. That's yeah, good, good time to actually check the lateral and, and see how, if we are entering the uh, posterior portion of the cortex of the vertebral body. It looks like we've uh, entered the uh, posterior, posterior portion. Let me just double check. Live. Live. All right, thanks. Yeah. And we were, I saw the AP viewer well away from the medial line of the, of the pedicle line. And going into actually one third portion into the vertebral body. And it's got the, uh, back to the AP view. Thank you very much, Tyler. I'm accompanied by my uh, fellow uh, James Ying, a dimensional spine fellow. And to picture there. Okay. Oh, yeah, just lateral there, but pretty good. Let me close that line. It's a little close, though. Picture. Let's get the actual uh, lateral view. We're entering the posterior portion of the cortex. Picture. Save to enter. All right. Thanks. Drill. So with the, uh, this system, when we are looking at the coolest leaf system, uh, we have a drill that has, is color-coded. I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there. And the, de co the colored uh, demarcations uh, will represent what size a probe to use into the vertebral body and what size would be beneficial to get an adequate and decent sized burn 
into the vertebral body. We can pan back at the sample and demonstration of the, of the uh, chicken model that we were doing the ablation. As you can see, both together, the two probes providing a good, and now they're connecting and providing a good size uh, transverse burn and AP burn uh, to the area. So if we go back to the uh, AP view. Forgive me, forgive me. Osteo cool uh, unit uh, for Medtronic. Uh, is that what we're, we're using here today? Picture there. Where's the... Picture there. Okay. And get the, a good um, lateral view again, please. Drill the area. Picture there. And picture there. Picture. 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 Great. And it's going to the AP view. there. There again. There. Okay. Picture. Picture. And take a lateral. So let's get up to the yellow uh, demarcation on the drill for both sides. Uh, and we would have a, a balloon that represents uh, the, sorry, forgive me, a probe that represents that particular size. Right in there. And on which we would do the actual ablation. Of course, we have the demonstration already in, in process here, if you want to pan back at that for the uh, chicken model. So the, uh, this probe in particular, uh, um, OsteoCool, uh, has a uh, internal cooling mechanism of which uh, distilled water is uh, coming through uh, internally uh, to provide uh, that the uh, tip of the probe uh, in contact with tissue uh, stays uh, cooler so as to uh, not char the, the local, uh, local tissue in the area. Uh, therefore providing a, uh, a higher uh, and larger uh, lesion in the area. So let's point a little, look at maybe going towards the balloon. Let's go ahead and get a picture there. Let's go uh, AP view. We already started mixing the, the actual cement. One thing to know is making sure that the uh, cement uh, uh, viscosity is adequate and uh, making sure uh, that it doesn't no longer sticks to your fingers. And the 
the glistening uh, uh, sheen on that, uh, that cement is, uh, is gone, and it's more of a kind of a doughy, thickened uh, consistency is the way I like it, and help decrease the amount of extravasation occurring. The uh, things to note for, uh, you know, why, so why do a kyphoplasty with a RF ablation? And uh, one thing that was making sure that providing a cement or a cementoplasty without creating a cavity uh, after doing a RF ablation, uh, a lot of leakage can, uh, occurs, and a lot of the, a lot of these, a lot of the studies uh, do show that that a lot of extravasation and leakage uh, does occur. So by providing a cavity uh, following the ablation, uh, there's significant reduction, if not almost completely, in a lot of the studies that, that have been done. Uh, where you're creating a, a large cavity in the area for the cement to be contained and help provide that cement to help provide some scaffolding to the vertebral body area. Right now we're just mixing up the cement. We're going to change over to the balloons. Picture there. Thank you. James, you want to Yep. We have my fellow James here to implement the balloon. Picture. This balloon is a PMMA uh, resistant balloon. It also goes up to 700 PSI. Picture. Picture there. Yeah, I want to make sure the balloon is completely the patrol car there. Picture? There you Keep go. Going, yeah. See there. So look at the. Uh, oh, it may look a lateral view too. Okay. Yeah, sure. We also can pull back on the patrol car as well to make, right, enable it to right. uh, fall through. Excellent. If you want to take a picture of the, uh, or pan over the camera with the uh, chicken model. Thank you. A good size uh, ablation there. Uh, making sure we're staying away from the spinal canal. Uh, a good size uh, ablation, uh, AP and transverse views. Picture there. I'll go back into the balloon. And the balloon's popped out. We're going to now uh, deliver the uh, radio opaque uh, water to the balloon, keeping an eye and making sure. Live picture. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. More. Good sized balloon. We're making sure we're staying away, staying away from the uh, radial body borders. Uh, how many what, what pressures are that now? It's uh, 285. And 4 cc's is the max? Just one and a half. So we're at a one and a half, one and a half cc's. This balloon can go up to four cc's, and we're at the pressure of what? 369. 369. Okay. And we can leave that uh, actually deployed, and we'll get the other one under AP view first of all. Excellent. Good luck. So good luck. Take the picture. Good one. Okay. Yeah, sure. Maybe this one. deflate with that one a little yeah. bit so I can better see the other one a little bit. Not, not totally, though. No. Picture there? That's good. Okay. All right. And picture. One sec. And go live. Live. There it is, right there. Live. Oh, the other screen's in the way, sorry. Oh, again. Picture there, live. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Just 
Just making sure that balloon is fully out. Mm -hmm. And then let's go ahead and deploy it now. Live. Live. As you can see, it's enlarging there. Make sure that it doesn't get too close to that anterior border there. That looks good. Okay. Stop there and don't That's deploy the other one are. again. Live. Good there. Okay. All right. A cement should be almost ready. So again, uh, I like to make sure my cement is really thickened up there. I don't see no, any longer any glistening sheen to it. And look at the consistency. It really doesn't really stick to my fingers. It's really quite doughy, which is quite nice. What's the time that it transpired? Uh, six minutes. Okay. Just like this one, James. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Dr. Ying. Yep. Go ahead. No, pull back. No, hold, hold it. Pull back. All the way. Yep. Pull back all the way. Yep. It's all the way. Good. Excellent. Our picture there. And live. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. James, you want to go ahead and do that? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and put this one in. Let's go to uh, picture there. AP view. Thanks. Go ahead and you'll lock it on. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, the, this uh, cement delivery system has a it's kind of gun pump that uh, has an auto stop on it. Uh, I did forget to mention that with the, uh, the uh, tumor uh, ablation um, osteocool uh, technology, it does have an auto temperature check to make sure we're not overheating the area. And it automatically shuts off until it's in the, in the correct uh, temperature. Um, picture there. Let's go live and it delivers cement live. Yes, please. See a good spread of the cement. So we leave the, the opposite which the balloon uh, inflated while we're filling the one side so as to not to it provide some support while we're inflating, especially for collapsed uh, vertebral bodies. Uh, we'll want to do that. Of course, we want to check under lateral view as well. We want to deliver. That's the most important view. Mm -hmm. um, that we're wanting to check, making sure that the cement isn't going back towards the spinal canal, which is the most important view of what we should have been doing. Okay? That looks good spread of the cement. Good job. But yeah, again, we want to make sure that, oh, that's under a lateral view, though, okay? For the next mm -hmm. one. Okay. Go ahead and take that off, James. Okay. Okay. You need that. Well, let's deflate that nice one. Time. Picture there. Pull it all the way back, James. Good. No, it, it's picture. It's, it's still inflated. Yeah, try here, picture. It's all the way. Yeah, you just gotta hold it, oh. and it still sucks out the liquid. Sometimes it takes a little while. Mm -hmm. And it's gotta make sure all that liquid's out, or it's very difficult to. Remove the balloon. There you go. Yeah. Okay, picture there. Let's maybe back that up a little bit. And live. And pumping in the cement. See that spreading into the area. Yeah, 
Keep going. Keep going. Now we have a good lateral view. We can see, we make sure we're not going closer to the canal. Keep going. That's good. Stop there. Great. Okay, let's check an AP view. Yeah, I've got a total of nine CCs in total. Into that vertebral body at T8 here. Excellent. Great. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Anything you want to bring up with the, based on the uh, osteocool uh, technology? I think we're good. So the, the machine does uh, measure the proximal uh, tip of the, of the actual probe, which is at 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, the uh, mid portion of the, of the active portion of the probe is at 95 degrees Celsius, and at the distal tip of the uh, probe, uh, 70 degrees Celsius. And uh, depending on what size probe is obviously what size of uh, elliptoid lesion that you are creating in a uh, width and, 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 uh, and length of it. And together with another probe, provides even a larger lesion uh, to cover that vertebral body adequately. All right. Thank you very much. Any questions uh, anyone has? Well, thank you for that demonstration. I, I really appreciate seeing that uh, the chicken model really shows us um, how that radio frequency works and amazing how, it, how they uh, keep that cool that way. I know Dr. Ying was getting a little hungry to <laughs> close to the lunch here, so. Dr. Ying, you can have that chicken it's <laughs> finished. Uh, but no, really, really great. I, I wish my kyphoplasties went that well. So uh, thank you for showing it here in our kind of controlled setting. And, um, you know, so many tips uh, are really helpful for us. So we really appreciate you.